Guys, what's up? Welcome to topic 26. The next thing over here is the outdoor furniture. So I press Ctrl H because we have to move away the grid. And let's say I want to go ahead and select this particular piece of furniture. So I will actually double click and press OK. And I can use the wand tool to now select the white portion and actually do a right click and similar to delete. Now we want to use this particular object, but if you guys notice, this particular object has been eaten up as well. So I'll just press Ctrl Alt Delete. Not that we need this object, but let's say if we did, we can just use the wand tool once and you can see how it's stopped and we can actually use this object at this level itself. But because we did a right click and similar, it actually went into this area thinking that this particular area is also similar to white. So that's what you have to understand where you should stop and where you can continue till. So solid difference between the wood color as well as the white allows us when we use similar. Now once this is done, I can just press the delete button and press Ctrl D. After doing this, I can use the marquee tool and actually select this whole outdoor furniture over here. I can use the arrow key to actually drag this from here into the site plan and place it over here. Now with another Ctrl T, I can press Shift and scale it down. So this is somewhat how we're going to kind of place our outdoor furniture, Ctrl T and I'll just rotate it like this. So they have like a nice outdoor area where they can just have their breakfast. And I'll just go ahead and close the outdoor furniture and not save it. Then we have two types of trees. So this first tree, Ctrl H, first tree, I can just use the W to select but of course it's not going to delete so what I'm going to do is double click and press OK that will rasterize the layer now I can do a right click and similar so it selects a little white portion inside and press delete Control D we'll sort the other tree out as well and then we'll use both of them so again I'll go on this tree and I'll press Control H now again I'll double click and rasterize it but if you guys see there is a little something different in this tree we can actually see some kind of a watermark. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the wand tool and first select the white portion, control and similar. So we select the little white portions inside and press delete and we can press control D. Now I can use the marquee tool to select the base over here and we can delete that off as well and control D. Now over here we have these watermarks move the watermark, you can simply select the clone stamp tool. Remember, right click on it and don't select the pattern stamp, but select the clone stamp tool. Once that's done, you can simply go to the space over here and wherever you need to clone, simply click Alt and then click once or twice holding Alt, whichever part you wish to clone. After that, you can release Alt and you can only use the single click to simply clone that area on top of the watermark and it will get hidden as such because we have cloned a clean area on top of the watermarked area. Simply do this in all the spaces where the watermark is there so that all the watermarks have been hidden. Once that's done guys, you can simply use the move tool to actually drag the tree from here into the site plan and you can simply place it over here. Once that's done, we need to scale this. So for that, you can press Ctrl T and scale it from the corner. Remember, only scale it from the corner. Drag it back into the site plan and scale it again. Once you have the correct scale, you can simply place it now wherever you feel like. For this particular project, we're going to be starting on the corner and we're going to be creating a boundary of trees. So I'm going to select the second tree and drag that here as well and make sure you click yes. Now scale it. Once it's scaled, you can place it side by side so that we have two kinds of trees and we can copy the first tree above it. Now place it correctly by using the arrow keys as well. You can simply move them. You can see that. Once that's done, guys, you can now create a boundary. So once this is done, I can actually go ahead and select both of these and copy this up like this again, like this. Now I'll select this as well and copy this up. 
and similarly I can actually select all these trees and press alt and copy them over here. So this is something that I'm going to do. We can actually go ahead and put the trees over here also. So if I leave it like this, that's completely also okay, depending on what kind of a design of a landscape are you planning to do. But I'm just going to go simply and kind of place this over here. It's okay if you leave it even just the both sides, it's completely up to how you want your entire you know, design to look like. And I can just come quickly here and just place a couple of trees here, maybe even scale one of these down something like that actually just do a little design over here and that's something that we can actually go ahead with so this is how you basically place objects into the site plan now of course we have one last thing remaining to give a little more life to the entire drawing and that is basically selecting all of these by simply clicking shift, selecting the top and the bottom layer and then merging the layers by right clicking. Once that is done, you can simply move the layer. You can see this is the entire layer. You can move this right to the top. Well, once I've placed it there, guys, now for giving life to it, we can simply double click on it, go into the drop shadow and add a bit of shadow. Once that's done, shadow will be added to the layers. You can copy the layer style and paste the layer style in the car. Now that the car and the tree both have shadows, we have given complete depth to this whole site plan. And that's basically how you can complete this whole plan. I'll see you guys in the next topic.